Hello ladies and gentlemen. Since I just recently reached 100 subscribers, which I made a separate video of, so I suggest you check that out as well, I thought that this would be a good time to start my second point and click adventure game poll. I have four game candidates here for you to vote for. And since I have already decided what to play next after Catty Rain, which I'm still playing as I'm making this video, the game that gets the most votes will be played after the next game coming after Catty Rain. So, without further ado, here are the candidates. The first candidate is... Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Of course I had to add a LucasArts game to the list, and this time I chose the first of the two Indiana Jones adventure games, the second one being The Fate of the Atlantis. This game story is naturally based on the Indiana Jones film from 1989, The Last Crusade, and was released on the same year as the film, a couple of months later. I of course have seen the film, so the story is not going to be new to me, and I bet I can solve some puzzles in the game just by remembering some certain scenes and moments from the film. But I'm sure there will be unique puzzles as well, so this won't be a cakewalk. For those who don't know, in the film, and thus in the game, Indiana Jones is searching for his father who has been kidnapped by Nazis. And the two together will try to find the Holy Grail, the cup used by Jesus Christ himself during the Last Supper, before the Nazis do. Also, be aware that this game has no voice acting, meaning that I would have to try to read and keep up with the dialogue text. If you want to see this adventure and watch me literally punch Nazis in the face, then vote for Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. The second candidate is... Chronicle of Innsmouth. Now, this is a very intriguing one. This game was developed and published by a two-man Italian team called Psychodev last year in 2017. I happened to find out about this game, was it a couple of weeks ago, when I was casting my votes for the best adventure games of 2017 in Adventure Gamers' poll, and the name immediately caught my eye when I was scrolling down the list of adventure game names. As you can see, the game is heavily inspired by early LucasArts point-and-click adventure games, most notably The Secret of Monkey Island. Even the main character kinda looks like Guybrush. As the name may have given it away, this is a Lovecraftian themed game loosely based on one of H.P. Lovecraft's stories, The Shadow Over Innsmouth. As a Lovecraft fan, I would love to play this game because good Lovecraftian games are a rarity, and this one looks very good. And I think Point and Click Adventure is a perfect genre for Lovecraftian cosmic horror. And this game has voice acting too, so I don't need to try to read and keep up with the dialogue text. Want to find out what lurks in the spooky town of Innsmouth? Then vote for Chronicle of Innsmouth. The third candidate is... Toonstruck. An FMV point-and-click adventure game developed by Burst Studios and published by Virgin Interactive Entertainment in 1996. Although according to both Steam and GOG.com, the game was published by Interplay, so that's a bit confusing. Anyway, I have always found FMV games fascinating, and so I decided to add one to this list. The story is about an animator, Drew Blank, played by Christopher Lloyd, who works for the Fluffy Fluffy Bun Bun Show. Life hasn't exactly turned out the way he planned, and his creativity has left town as his boss won't let him draw anything else but adorable cute bunnies. Then a freak accident involving electronics happened, spinning him headfirst into the whacked out and not so warm and fuzzy world of his own cartoon creations. And, of course, he needs to find a way to get back home. This is going to be a really wacky adventure with exaggerated cartoon look and humor, so I expect this game to be rather hard, similarly to Day of the Tentacle. If you want to hear me making constant references to the Back to the Future movies and be disappointed if Lloyd won't ever say Great Scott at any point in the game, vote for Toonstruck. And the last candidate is... A Vampire Story. Developed by Autumn Moon Entertainment and published by Crimson Cow in 2008, a Vampire Story was created by a number of former LucasArts adventure game developers, and thus is similar to some of their previous games, like The Curse of Monkey Island, in presentation and style. Speaking about style, the game looks fucking beautiful. I really like the colorful and artistic style of the environment. Reminds me of The Curse of Monkey Island in a way, except that we are not in tropical Caribbean but snowy Transylvania. The 3D characters look a bit dated, but in 2008 standards they look good enough. The story is about a young gifted opera singer, Mona de la Fitte, who is being held captive by her tormentor, Vampire Baron Shroudy von Kiefer. Ever since she was transformed into a vampire by Shroudy and whisked off to Transylvania, her greatest wish has been to return to Paris, 
continue her singing career and one day become a star at the Paris Opera. Along the way, Mona must learn not only to accept her vampire nature, but also use the abilities she has acquired to her advantage. This would be my second adventure game with a female protagonist. And judging from what little I have seen, Mona seems funny and looks very good. I mean, look at her. That pale skin, hourglass shaped curves, and those big, round, soft looking... Eyes. Yes, those. Eyes. So if you want to join me in helping out the poor woman to get back to Paris, then vote for a vampire story. So, there were your candidates. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, Chronicle of Innsmouth, Toonstruck, and a vampire story. And like I said, I'll start to play the winner after finishing Catty Rain and another adventure game after that. So you got time to vote till I have finished the next game. I'll let you know on Twitter when I'm going to close the poll. And make a short separate video announcing the winner. I also encourage you to let your friends who also like adventure games know about this poll so they can come and vote too, subscribers or not. I have briefly tested out all four games to make sure they work and that I can record them properly without problems. But if for some reason I suddenly can't record the winner, I'll play the game that came in second place. And don't worry, every one of these games will be played eventually. Some sooner than others, depending on the votes. I also recommend you to follow me on Twitter, where not only you get notifications when new videos get uploaded, but I'll also let you know if videos get delayed and why, or if I'm going somewhere for a longer period of time and thus no videos for a while. Plus I tend to tweet a lot of game related stuff, be it news or Kickstarter projects if I happen to run across interesting ones and so on. And you can also contact me there directly and say hello. One last thing. I have uploaded another video at the same time with this one, and that one is about another poll I made regarding the channel and its current direction. I highly recommend you to either go and check out that video, or just go straight to the poll. You can find links to both of those under the description below. That should be all I wanted to say, so I'm just going to end this video here, so you can go and cast your votes. And of course, the link to this poll is also under the description, and I'll make the links available on Twitter as well. Very excited to see what you guys will vote for. Thank you for watching and happy voting!